Hey everyone, today we're diving into an emerging AI concept called AI agents. What they are, how they work, and discuss some key design patterns. We will explore how agentic workflows are changing the game in AI applications. What are AI agent workflows? Well, to answer this question, let's consider an example. Imagine that you are a financial analyst. You're tasked with creating a comprehensive investment strategy for a client. The traditional way of using AI would be like asking it to generate the entire strategy in one go without any refinement or consideration of changing market conditions. But that's not how expert financial advisors work, right? Well, experts work on this iteratively. They might follow steps like this. They might analyze the client's financial situation and their goals. Then they might research the current market trends and economic indicators. Then draft an initial investment strategy. Then simulate the strategy's performance under various market conditions and then revise the strategy based on the simulated results and then repeat these steps until the strategy is optimized. This iterative process is what we call an agentic workflow. It's more like how a skilled financial advisor would approach the task and surprisingly, it produces much better results. Now, let's look at the key design patterns in AI agent workflows. Tool use or function calling is one, then there's reflection, and then multi-agent collaboration. Now let's break these down into a bit more detail. Now tool use or function calling, most commonly used right now, this is about AI using external tools to enhance its capabilities. Now these external tools are mostly access in the form of APIs. So in our example, you ask AI about the best performing sectors for the next quarter. So instead of guessing, it might use financial data APIs to analyze the recent trends. Or if asked about a company's financial health, it might use tools to analyze financial statements and market sentiment. Now second is reflection. Imagine you are a financial analyst and after creating a portfolio allocation, you ask yourself, does this align with the client's risk tolerance? Can I improve the diversification? That's essentially what reflection is for AI. Now, in our example, AI creates an initial portfolio allocation, then it's prompted to review its own allocation. It may say the current allocation is too heavily weighted in tech stocks. I should rebalance to reduce risk. Then it adjusts the portfolio, potentially improving its performance and risk profile. Now, third AI agent design pattern is multi-agent workflow. This is like having a team of financial experts working together, each with a specific expertise and role. For example, in creating a comprehensive financial plan, you might have an AI acting as a financial planner, setting overall strategy, another as a tax expert, optimizing for tax efficiencies, a risk management AI that's assessing and mitigating potential risks, and an investment analyst AI that is selecting specific investments, a regulatory compliance AI ensuring all recommendations meet legal requirements. Now these agents then collaborate, debate, and iterate to create a complete personalized financial plan. So let's summarize. AI agent workflows are revolutionizing what AI can do because I like to describe it as though you can connect the different Lego pieces to create an end goal. They allow for more complex, nuanced, and expert-like problem solving. Remember, the future of AI applications isn't just about having the most powerful models. 
It's about using them in smarter, more efficient ways that are collaborative and iterative. And that's exactly what agent workflows allow us to do. There is lots of research going on in this area and lots of companies also working on products in this area. I am excited to see where things go and what patterns and standardizations emerge. Let's discuss what you think about AI agents in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting AI and cloud content. Thank you.